uh, we've got removable finger spines only, there's no thumb spine in it. I know a lot of people would ask about the thumb spine, there's not a thumb spine in these. Standard closure, quite a wide closure as, as per normal with a, a fairly wide strap on this. It's got the more expensive uh, latex foam on these. There's a film that needs removing from these gloves. It's a delicate process which takes time. Um, I'm not paid to, by any brand to give reviews on goalkeeper gloves, so these are my honest reviews. I've not been given these gloves. I've paid for these gloves and I will give you an honest review. So what I say here is not trying to get us out and just being honest about the goalkeeper gloves. They're tight fit, that's for sure. I'm struggling to get my hand in these. Uh, I mean, not the easiest of process. I've stretched the, the elastic slightly, getting those in. Um, just trying to try and get them on my fingers. Just trying to push them down, trying to get some like some negative gloves, I find that the fingers are stubby. These are not too bad to be fair. That index finger feels stubby though. It doesn't feel quite as nice. It's not too bad. I'm just kind of bedding it in and getting a feel for it. You can kind of, it's not that bad actually. It's better ones on latex gussets on these. Big fan of latex gussets. Don't mind an, uh, a mesh gusset. It makes the gloves lighter. But overall, I prefer a latex gusset. I think it executes the glove better. Different material than they use on the cheaper gloves. Slightly more of a weather resistant <coughs> material that they've used. Better for um, the rain and the wet and the cold. And it's got this same backhand that they're using. It's like a, it's not a latex backhand. It's a PVA backhand that they've used, EVA backhand. It says it's got the punch zone in there, which I'm sure it might have some more padding in there. It's a slightly bit more embossed in there, but hard to tell on these with the finger spines in. The finger spines fit well with negative cut, I find it's a decent, they, they do, yeah, they fit fine, you know. I, I think negative cut and finger spines go well together, where negative, where roll finger and finger spines don't go together quite so well. But it does work on these really well. I'm gonna have a look at the spines in these, in these shop lock models, just to see what finger spines that kept the pair of used here. And they've used the better spines, yeah, the stronger white spines, they're much better. They're, they're decent spines. Um, they can pop in and out if you're not careful. But yeah, they're, they're decent spines, these. I recommend those. So they're decent. They don't want to be forced back, but they will give you decent protection. Um, I'll pop them in. They're not particularly easy to get in the glove. So yeah, that's gone in fairly well, to be fair. It's quite a wide-fitting glove for a size 8. It's not particularly tailored and narrow like a lot of the... The brands at the minute, I know a lot of the brands are really tightening up the gloves, they're, they're closing them up, but they're, these are slightly wider. So if you've got wide hands, these are fit fairly well, to be fair. But under £40, these, for a negative cut with the shot clock protection in it, is very, very good value for money. There's not loads of gloves on the marketplace at the moment that are doing finger protection, negative cut altogether, and the removable as well. So you don't have to wear the finger spines, you can customise the, the, the spines in these, so you don't have to go with uh, with finger spines all the time, or you just might want to protect one finger. But that's a, a closer look at the new Shocklock Negative from KA 